Hello guys, I'm Dimitris. In our previous tutorial video, we've learned how to create fully parametric families by creating this nice looking kids activities table. In today's video, we will learn how to use yes or no parameters to control the visibility of certain components within a family. For the sake of this example, if this table becomes bigger, then we might want to have a third set of legs in the middle. And we want to get the chance, the opportunity for the user to turn those legs on and off. These are called yes, no parameters. And in the end, we will also create a logical statement depending on the size of the table to have the family automatically turn the third set of legs on and off. So, let's jump right into it. First, we will make this table bigger just to have a better idea of what we are creating. Uh, we'll make it 1500 millimeters by 800 width. Now you can see that this table as it becomes bigger it certainly needs a third set of legs in the middle and we want to give the option to turn those legs on and off as we please depending on the size of the table. First we need to add our third set of legs so I'll go into my plan view create my extrusion for the legs I'll place them in the center diameter dimension for the legs and make them same diameter as the other legs by choosing the parameter we already have available from the previous tutorial legs diameter click apply let's see the model in the front view we need to lock our legs to the reference plane at the bottom and uh, under the tabletop I'm gonna use the align tool align to this reference plane and lock align to this reference plane and lock let's see our 3d model okay we need to make the material for this uh, new legs same as the others so select the the extrusion go to the materials in the properties uh, panel click on the associate family parameter we already have a parameter ready ready legs material okay here are our legs so what we want to do is give us the ability to control the visibility of these two legs. Basically we need to add a parameter which is called a yes no parameter that controls the visibility of these two components. In order to do that we select the components we want to add the visibility parameter and again in the properties panel where it says graphics visible currently it's ticked if we untick it they will not be visible they will turn off actually in order for us to be able to see these changes we need to be in the preview visibility on this is this controls how the family is actually viewed within a project currently it's off i'm gonna turn it on you see these legs currently are on if I turn them off they disappear turn them on they appear again so we want to give the user a parameter that can actually control this command the visible the graphics visibility in order to create the parameter again we click on this little button on the right currently there are no yes no parameters so we need to create 
one. I'm going to call it middle legs support. You can give any name you want as long as it's something that can be easily understood. Okay, so now we have a parameter, a yes no parameter called middle leg support that controls the visibility of these components in the family. Click OK. Let's visit our family types. And here now we have our new parameter with the name we assigned to it. And there's a yes no, a tick, check, uncheck box to control the visibility. If we untick it and hit apply, those legs will go away. Check it on and they come back. Depending on the size of the table, for instance, if the table is just 600 millimeters, then we don't need the middle set of legs, so the user will remove them. If the table becomes bigger, they will need to have an extra support in the middle. So this is how we create a yes or no visibility parameter. Once more, select the components we want in the properties uh, panel on the left under the visible graphics. We click on the associate parameter button on the right and we create our yes no parameter. Next thing we want to do is create a logical statement telling the program if the table becomes larger than a certain length then turn those legs on. If it's smaller than a certain length have them turned off. And to do this we will use a simple if statement within our parameters window. I will make it a little bit bigger, move this to the left so I have more room we can see the actual statement. So under our yes no parameter in the column where it says formula we need to add this if statement that will control when this parameter is turned on and when it's turned off. The parameter, the formula we're going to use, it's an if statement. So if, open parenthesis, and uh, we want to associate it with the length parameter. So if length larger than, let's say, 1500, so if it's large, if the length becomes larger than 1500, comma, now we will enter our true statement, eh? what will happen if the length is larger than 1500 millimeters, what we want the program to do if this statement is true. We want the middle leg support yes no parameter to turn on. In order to do that, we will enter a true statement, one smaller than two. This is a true statement. Number one is smaller than two. And then a comma, and then we'll, we will enter our false statement. If the length is it's not larger than 1500 millimeters, it's false, we want this parameter to turn off. So what we will do, we will say one is larger than 2, which is actually a false statement. Click apply and let's see how this logical statement within the yes no parameter works. Currently our length is at 1800 millimeters, which under this formula it's larger than the 1500, so it uses the true statement and it shows the middle leg supports. If we change the length to 1200, what it should do is recognize that this statement is not true anymore 
and use the false statement and turn the legs off. We're gonna hit apply, our lengths are off. Change the length to 1501, they should turn on. Perfect. Make them make the table smaller. Off. So guys, this is all there is to it. We've learned how to create yes or no visibility parameters and control that parameter through a logical if statement. Thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial will come in handy for you when creating more complex parametric families. Goodbye.